Ugh. YouTube, OEM Plus, fam. Hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, this video is gonna be pretty short, but I figured it'd be kind of cool and kind of insightful to kind of give you guys a in-depth understanding on how I, I guess, come up with video content. I think that's important. I'm starting my YouTube journey and it is very difficult to come up with video content, especially for a automobile based YouTube channel. And that's not a funded, you know, worthy of recording and you know, kind of gets to give you guys an insight on what I do every single day. Normally when I get home from work or um, just on the weekends, I'm just chilling. So what does that look like? It looks just like this. I sit here in my garage, have a drink, have my notebook and I have my cars, my BMW G80 M3, which is the primary vehicle that I use for this channel. So I normally do sit kind of next to it, kind of creepy, right? But it's what I do, it's part of the thought process. And I just sit here, man. I stare at it, I look at it. I think of like, you know, one, first thing I think of is just like, wow, can't believe uh, you know, I've come this far uh, in life and with this car and even doing it on YouTube. It goes against, you know, my kind of quote unquote introverted nature, but, and just also with like, you know, other, excuse me, other um, quote unquote setbacks that I've, I've had over the years. And, you know, YouTube and starting on YouTube has been very uh, powerful in recovery and just growing growth in life. So yeah, I sit here and I just stare at it and I think of, you know, okay, what, I have, what have I done? what would I like to do? And, you know, based off of what I have done now, what could I, you know, record to kind of help bring you guys more value, more um, insights. And yeah, so that way, you know, you come on my channel, at least you, you kind of walk, you leave with something. So yeah, I have my little notebook here. It's just a small little three by five notebook um, that I like to write. I write down all of my the parts that I want to eventually get for all of my cars. I, I write down each page has a different build sheet or build uh, wish list. And I'll just kind of like itemize everything. Like, all right, this is what I, you know, this is what I want to do for the either the G80. This is what I want to do for the E39. This is what I want to do for the E24. This is what I want to do for the Atlas. This is what I want to do for the Porsche. Porsche is the last the, the, the making is the last thing because that's just our that's like our just our nice car that we drive. We don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna modify that. We got other plans for that. But yeah, everything else has a list of everything that I'm that I want to do. So that's kind of you know what I do. And as time goes, I'm able to go back on these lists and check off the things that I'm able to do. You know, I prioritize on one through, you know, whatever, and be like, all right, this is what I need to do now because it's important. And will I record this process? Yes. Get a check mark. Will I not? No. Cool. Regardless of the situation, I'm going to, you know, build out my cars because I just don't, I've just never been the type of person to drive stock. This is how, how I've been over the years. I'm 37. Uh, all the cars I've had, I've never driven stock. So, you know, I wish I would have documented all this, this stuff years ago, but neither here nor there, we're here now. So yeah, like for the G80, um, I still have, you know, many things I want to do. I would never say this car is done. I would never say any of my cars are done because things change. As I do one mod, I might be inspired to do something that will complement that mod. And then I'll do that, you know, or, um, you know, something might break where it's like, okay, this isn't it. I need to, you know, change it up. Then I'll go do something else. Same with the air suspension on the G87 or the G80, as you guys saw, you know, I was going down a path with that and I was like, okay, this is cool, but you know, it didn't suit, you know, how I wanted to drive the car. So I, had, I switched it. And now with these coilovers, now I'm like, wow, like I get a taste of, you know, what you know these you know track enthusiasts and, and and other people feel with with their cars and i'm like wow i want to do other things to complement these coilovers to really bring out 
the most quality and the most out of the parts that I purchased for this car. So that's what I'm leaning towards now. And that's what I'm gonna be doing over the next however many months or whatever that it takes. Um, my little drink, whiskey, a little bit of sour and a splash of cranberry. Um, I also, well, I had a whiteboard behind me that had a whole list of things kind of keep me honest, but um, uh, this is normally, this is what I do. And I come out here and I just, you know, go through my book, see where I'm at, see, you know, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Don't forget to do this. Um, if I'm selling parts or if I'm, you know, moving things around, I will write that in here as well. And, you know, as far as how, how it pertains to YouTube, you know, it's just, you know, put little notes in here, like, you know, talk about things that, just because it might be something that I, might not care about it doesn't mean that you guys won't care about it right so that's why i'm doing videos like this and other little videos because you know i think i think it's important so you know that's kind of a little insight on you know what i do how i keep the creative process going um again i'm not you know i don't have an editing team or nothing like that or i'm not like you know experienced in this youtube space but i am experienced in envisioning cars and seeing things that maybe most people might not see or are afraid to do i do it and you know then i get people like oh wow i, I would have never guessed i would have never thought that that would look the way that looks you know on this car so i just do it because you know i, I see things a little bit differently um and that's you know that's something that i lean into so yeah that's pretty much it. Um, I guess, you know, to give you guys some insights on, I guess, what I'm gonna do next for this coming up, the G80, um, I'm going to be replacing the tie rods. Uh, they're actually in route, the tie rod ends. I'm gonna be replacing those so that I can really um, maximize the performance of the coilovers because they are, this vehicle is low. And my other tie rod is kind of stressed and, you know, worn out. So the joint, the ball joint is kind of, it's, yeah, it's flat. So I don't want that. I can feel it when I turn to the right and it feels horrible. Um, and I don't like it. So I'm going to replace those and, you know, I might replace a lower control arm because AST Moton has come out with a new control arm for this car specifically that uh, I think it will enhance steering feel and um, you know responsiveness uh, you know with with the steering. So I might I might do that. I don't know. I haven't. I don't. I don't know what the price is for that yet. So we'll see. But other than that, uh, a few other things I want to address on the inside. Um, I want I want to I want to unlock the ECU, but. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I got a manual, so I'm trying to preserve my clutch as long as possible. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the E39, I need to get that thing painted, honestly, and get the headliner done. So that's that's that E24. It's got a few things I need to address on that um, to get it running. It runs, but for it to be, you know, I want confidently running. So. It's got a battery drain issue, just common in these cars, trying to figure out where that's coming from. I've unplugged every single interior light, even the antenna. So hopefully that, that solves it. And I gotta do some stuff with the fuel system because it's kind of old and replace that and spark plugs again and you know make sure all that stuff is good. Headliner as well. The headliner of that car is extremely expensive to do because it's it's sewn in, it's not your standard headliner. Yeah, so fun times with that. The Atlas, I have a lot. I'm gonna do with that a lot. Um, I'm gonna actually, maybe not next not next week, but the week after, probably gonna have it in the garage for a little over a week. And I'll be doing a lot of different things, extreme makeover for the Atlas, 
Um, we drive it often, so it's dirty as hell right now. That's our that's our utility vehicle. It's got like twenty something thousand miles on. It's twenty twenty two, and we yeah, we drive it. We drive it like crazy. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, the uh, Macan or Macon or however you want to say it, depending on your fancy. Um, we got other plans for that, so you know I'm not gonna really go into that right now. But it's gonna be crazy. But you know, as far as modifications, that's, that's the last last thing. So uh, that's it for today. That's, a, that's all I got really. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I do, and you know, maybe that'll help you guys. You know, if you're <clears throat> doing YouTube or just building your car in general. Sometimes you just gotta put yourself next to your car and just really sit in silence, whether it's have a, have a drink, have a notebook, write everything down, you know, really strategize, really play play with your imagination and, you know, see what 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 comes of it. Um, and, you know, just don't be afraid to like, to test your imagination and like, just try it, just do it. And, um, yeah, that's normally what I do. And from there, I just, you know, decide if I'm going to record it or not and get out there and, and just do it. So um, hope this has been insightful. Hope it's been cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will. I'm going to bring you in on a view so you can kind of see what I see um, at this point and we'll close it at that. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, so, yep. This is what I sit here and stare at, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Look at all of them, see where I'm at, this, and you know, this, again, it starts from gratitude. I'm extremely grateful for, you know, just being able to work on these cars, to obtain these cars. These are all, the, the BMWs, I should say, are all, you know, dream cars that I have. That I like E39 is my favorite, E24 is my favorite, you know, G80 is you know my favorite as far as modern performance and you know manual and all that fun stuff. Um, I love the Atlas, the Cross Sport. I think it's the best, you know, sporty SUV, spacious and looks amazing. Um, I, I, I love that car. I get so many compliments in that car, and of course Porsche is Porsche. Porsche is a Porsche and yeah that's just amazing to drive as well so I do more content in those cars um but yeah I just wanted to bring you guys in so you guys can see what I see and you know see how I uh you know come up with my ideas with video content so I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time we are out of here